heard about commissioners and the role of commissioners in the previous presentations this morning, so I guess you understand my role and what I do. Basically, I try to support the Director General um, in his task of implementing the decisions that are made by the heads of government of the member states. Um, I try and do that both by making sure that the interests of Martinique are taken into consideration in the way the regional agenda of the OECS is implemented and I also try and make sure that Martinique gets engaged um, as much as possible and um, contributes to the implementation of the OECS regional agenda. So in that capacity, I simply would like to um, thank you, um, students and uh, the management team of SP, um, for contributing to the implementation, the concrete implementation of um, the objectives that are pursued both by Martinique and by the OECS. Um, because it's, it's one thing to sign agreements. Um, we all communicate a lot around signing of agreements. But it's another thing really, and that's the most important part of it, to um, actually make positive changes in, in the citizens of the OECS's lives. Um, and that's exactly what you're doing. And um, I really wish you um, a productive and a fruitful immersion stay, stay here in St. Lucia. And I hope that when you go back to Martinique, um, you go back um, enriched um, mm -hmm. by the experience. I also want to take the opportunity to thank um, the staff of the OECS Commission for all the energy and the time um, that you put into those exchanges. Um, we have been welcome as associate members of the organization, but I must say that we also really appreciate all the efforts that are made on a daily basis um, to make us feel not only as associate members, but really and truly as full members of the OECS family. And today, um, that's how we feel as mm -hmm. a full member of the OECS family. So thank you. Mm -hmm.